Claude. The celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. You say that like it's a bad thing. Me? You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Uh, fine. Are you just want to see him Is Is your goal just to see him squirm? Why do I feel like it's just to see him squirm? Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you, to believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities to see that decision to its conclusion. Every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. Someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. It's so hard not to laugh seeing the dog alongside everybody else. <laughs> Why? What? What? How did they end up with? I think they said he was a stray, but still. Our children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all. To honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle. To make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose victory. Yeah! How long is this gonna go? <laughs> oh jeez, that one hoot at the end. <laughs> All right, fair cop. Oh, please don't start now. What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? No, that's not... You know what to do, Miles. Free pug? Picture? Of course. Camera's all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with a future hero? <laughs> Wait, everyone, please calm down. No, they're not calming down. You just raw them up further. Hi? <sighs> Talk to someone already, you moron! Kai. And this is where it all goes south, right? The troop's morale has recovered. I think it's safe to say they've reached a new level of trust, too. Seeing is believing. They needed proof to unite them. Words are rarely enough to earn trust, I think. Actions speak far louder. A victory of this magnitude is just the push our operation needed. Is that why you dr decided to drive through here, knowing that it would... Well, trial by fire, I suppose. Is that what you aim? Naturally, a single victory and a rousing speech aren't going to solve all our problems. I'd say that's enough work for one day. Mr. Wallace, you've done a fine job indeed. I hope he was here. I hope he was there to hear you say that. I don't like the name of that chapter. What's hey, next? Wait up. I said wait, damn it. 
Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? Let me go. Can't you at least tell me? I said let go! I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. Um, it has everything to do with everyone here. Say it already. It's my problem too. Why? Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? Fine. You want to know what kind of friend I really am? That's... Wait. No. I've betrayed everyone. Claude, Riley, you... Everyone. It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little, I'd always do whatever he told me. I was always just his messenger, his helper. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't do this. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> He's not getting off. Shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <laughs> Listen to me, all right? I don't know what you did, and I'm not gonna ask. I don't give a shit, you understand? You're not a traitor. And even if you were, it doesn't matter. <sighs> How could it? I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I... I I love you. There it is. What kind of guy would I be if I can't forgive a single mistake from the girl I love? It's been hard on you, right? And you regret all of it, and you're... You're not gonna do it again, right? Then forget all this shit. You don't have to worry. Nobody's gonna know if you don't say anything. And if you want to vent... I'll always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, I'll take the blame for you. So you... I mean, you should... You can rely on me as much as you want. Got it? Doesn't matter who I have to fight. The imps, the feds, or... Or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. So, <laughs> so Kai clearly isn't a traitor, so she seemed to be acting as the best of intentions then. The question is, Kai clearly didn't expect it to go as far as it did with respect to, well, anything. Well, so the question is, is he actually working with the Empire? Or is he just, <clears throat> that's the part that's unclear. So Kai clearly isn't a traitor then. Well, Lena clearly isn't a traitor, but whether Kai is... Okay. I'm very curious to see how this will play out now. So, uh, nothing? I give you my big, dumb, once-in-a-lifetime confession, and you got nothing to say. Dumbass. <laughs> huh? I... what? You dumbass! Keep your voice down! How do you expect me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear? Bud... Thank you. I feel like... I can breathe again. <sighs> About the other stuff... Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! <laughs> well, that somebody is way too happy about that. So there it is. I guess that threads 
All right, that thread continues then. We'll see where it leads. Doctor, I just heard from Marie. The little girl woke up? She did indeed. I was just finishing a simple checkup. But it does seem like she might have a case of amnesia. <laughs> That's helpful. <sighs> so, what's your name? Angie. Short for Angelica. Hi, Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. If she doesn't remember anything but her name, we don't have a whole lot to work with. I'm sorry. I'm not good at remembering. Oh no, it's okay. Just take your time. You don't have to try and force it. I'd prefer to have her dropped off at some town. But seeing as we're in enemy territory, that might be tricky. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so I'd say our best choice is to let her rest and keep an eye on her. Can you look after her, Doctor? Leave it to me. I was a pediatrician before all this, if you can believe that. <sighs> Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Angie. <sighs> hey. She's all alone, isn't she? Riley. What are you thinking? Doctor, is she strong enough to walk? Certainly. Aside from the memory loss, she's got a clean bill of health. Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Okay. Alrighty then. Calibrations. I apologize for my absence. I'm afraid the laboratory called me back in for some time. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship 2 was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Yes, my lord. <laughs> oh, they're, they know they're in the doghouse now. Well done. Very commendable, you two. Oh. Thank you, my lord. But, regrettably, I cannot say the same for the choices that followed. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if you had reported as instructed, and followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. Oh, they- oh wow, so this is twice now that incompetence from underlings has co have cost you? Why are you working with these fools then? If this has happened twice now where something went awry, clearly the Valkyrie's power is unre- well, I mean it did its job and- well, technically it didn't, but- Jeez, if this is twice now, why are you bothering with them? I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. I'd rather we don't have another miscommunication like this. But you understand, it's because I love the both of you. Oh, I definitely believe that. <laughs> yes, I do this because I love you very, very much. You know that, don't you? I don't think you and I have the same definition of that word. <laughs> now then, let's begin the calibrations. Y yes, my lord. Thank you for your kindness. You needn't thank me. I do all of this for you, my dears. After this, everything should go much more smooth. I really don't want to know what these calibrations are, do I? Yes. Without a doubt, there will be no more failures. As expected, they go away before they can show the worst of that. Interlude. Gift from above. An interlude? 
New story, you can go to the next page without reading the scenes. Something to protect? Huh. Secret admirer? What's that supposed to mean? What, now that he's being honest about what he feels about Lena? I don't know. Either way, I suppose then, to wrap this up, we may as well go check this out. Given that we're able to skip forward, I'm assuming there's no combat associated with this. Angie, would you please hand me the wrench with a 12 on it? 12, 12. Oh, here it is. That's the one. Thank you. Hey, you can go play in the mess hall if this is boring. I'm sure someone there would love to hang out with you. And then again, they'd probably fight over you. It seems everyone likes having you around. Is she the ship mascot now? You're like the guardian angel of this ship. Angel? It means you're beautiful inside and out. <gasps> no, oh, Riley, you're the prettiest on the ship, outside and in. Here we go. Aw, that's what makes you so sweet. <sighs> I wish we could keep you aboard forever, but not all dreams come true. Do I have to get off the boat? Not now, but eventually, yes. This ship is headed for the front lines of battle. We can't just take a little girl into a combat zone. I'm sure the captain will take good care of you. Maybe drop you off at the next port. Hopefully you can get your memories back by then. My memories? Are you scared to remember? I understand. Not all memories are happy ones. But it's sad that you can't remember the people you love. Love. Like family and friends. Maybe even a boyfriend. At that age? <laughs> oh, I'm pulling your leg. Come on. We've still got a lot of repairs to do. Let's see. Ragnaline Chamber's been looking unstable. I assume it's just wear and tear, but I guess I'll have to shut everything down and test it first. Hmm, it's all five, I think. Yeah, she's the one that was managing the... Yeah, actually, wait, was she the one managing everything inside the engine then? But... <sighs> Only way I could explain it is if she's Valkyra. Okay, how would you know that, though? I'm very confused now. How'd she figure it out? That would have taken me hours. Riley! I thought you were watching Angie. She's having her checkup at the sick bay. Good timing. The captain has decided what to do with her. <sighs> oh, so it's already settled. Wish we could have had a little more time together. No, no, you got it all wrong. Angie's not going anywhere. Huh? She'll be staying aboard for now. The captain wants you to look after her. But that means Angie could get caught in the crossfire. That's what I said. We're already knee-deep in enemy territory, to say nothing of the cold. But the captain determined that if she leaves now, we can't guarantee her safety. That is fair. Still, he didn't seem too keen on the idea himself. Felt like something was weighing on him. Wait a minute. If he's the captain, then he may know that... He may know something that we don't. I wonder if he knows who Angie really is. Like what? Sorry, I couldn't really get that out of him. In any case, I want you to keep her safe. That goes without saying. Until her memories return and she's back home. I'll protect her. It's my responsibility. Well, that settles that. I'll go tell Angie the good news. Hey, wait. I need to ask you about... Wow. She's completely smitten. And there we are. Very good, Angie. Splendidly done. 
Doctor, how's Angie? Riley! Angie, you... Wait, what's that smell? Blood? What happened? Are you hurt? Jeez, already the maternal instincts kicking in? Jeez. Um, well... <laughs> Not to worry, Riley. Angie's in perfect health. We just treated a soldier who shot himself in the foot. It was an emergency, and we're understaffed, so Angie assisted me with the operation. Wait, how? What? I was his helper. You helped treat a bullet wound? That's amazing. She was a little scared of the blood, of course. She was very brave and calm the whole time. That girl really is an angel. Even when I was covered in blood and panicking, she just held my hand and smiled. Thanks to her, I managed to work through the pain. And this damn quack barely gave me any anesthetics. I doubt they have a lot of anesthetics right now. I'll take that as a compliment. That reminds me, I need to disinfect your wound. Let me get the strong stuff. Ah! Stay away from me, you madman! Excuse me? Sergio, you're scaring him! <laughs> Merely a joke, Angie. Would you mind disinfecting his foot then? Apparently only you can make him feel better. Okie dokie! <laughs> We've got ourselves a little nurse on staff. Angie... Who is this girl? Uh, pardon me, is Angie here? Angie's at the sick bay right now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, I just wanted a hand peeling the potatoes. Uh, can you let me know when she gets back? Sure, no problem. Hey, Angie! Oh, Riley! It's just you. Angie's helping out in the galley. Well, I'm on laundry duty, so I was wondering if she'd like to join me. Oh, is everybody demanding her attention now? Yeah, I'll tell her. A few moments Angie, later. Yeah. I've got some candy drops for you. Where did you even get those? <laughs> Whoops, sorry, Riley. I was hoping you were someone else. Oh well, I'll just wait here until. Get out! Jeez, Angie, Angie, Angie. That's all anyone can say. I want to play with her too, you know. If this keeps up, I'll never get to see her. She's gonna end up exhausting herself. That's your that's your angle, actually. No, Angie's not here. Uh, Riley, it's me. <gasps> Angie, S sorry about that. Come on in. <sighs> I played with so many people today. Sounds like it. Seriously, everyone's pulling you left and right. Don't be afraid to tell them no, all right? But I want to help out. Except now you're really tired, aren't you? I can tell. Mm. You're still recovering. Don't push yourself so hard. Sorry I worried you. But... But what? I don't remember anything about before. So I want to make new memories with everyone here. Angie. Oh, but I'm okay. I feel fine. I don't believe you. And everyone gives me treats when I help. I ate a lot of candy. Then how are you... Okay, yeah. You're... If you aren't Valkyria, I'd be surprised. Why would you even be here otherwise? <sighs> Maybe that's why I'm so sleepy. Then I think it's someone's bedtime. Okie dokie. Oh, but don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, okay. Memories, huh. Wait, how is Raz getting involved in this? Making memories? Yep. We're going to give Angie a night she'll never forget. 
Something she can remember us by. Even after her amnesia is cured. Who knows what else she'll remember? I don't know why, but I get the impression that girl feels pressured by something. Yeah, you may have a point there. She's always running around trying to assist anyone she bumps into. Last time, I saw her helping Andre in the engine room. He was impressed by how quickly she picked things up. Yes, I know. She may have potential as a nurse, but she'd make an amazing mechanic one day. She's a smart girl, and a hard worker to boot. That's part of her charm. It's no wonder the whole crew is head over heels for her. I think she's worried about her amnesia, though. She does all these chores to distract herself from it. So, will you help me? It's not like we got anything better to do. You gonna tell us the plan or what? Mm-hmm. Drumroll, please. Oh, come on! Let me have my moment, damn it. God, it's cold. Can anyone remind me why we're throwing a summer festival in the dead of winter? Because we can. Quit whining. Come on, at least try to look happy. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. Here she comes. There's no sense crying over every mistake. Um, I saw the note to come to the mess hall and- You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. Okay, I'm done. Happy feast of all spirits, Angie. surprised you. The Feast of All Spirits is a Gaulian holiday to show our love for the spirits of the earth. It's also a day when we give presents to people we love. Oh, really? Uh, but I didn't bring anything. That's fine. All that matters is that you have fun. So here, start us off for us. I got you something real good. The finest bacon from Einhemd. Of course it's bacon. <laughs> I mean, you start a whole fight over it back in Imperial territory. I shouldn't be surprised. Um, it smells kind of funny. Huh? Einhemd? How many months ago was that? Oh, God. That's too bad. Maybe jerky would have lasted this long. You really thought rotting meat would make a good present? Uh oh, but but I really like it. Thank you, Raz. All right, next, your turn, Kai. Here you go. And this is a bullet. Don't you think that's dangerous for a kid? Only if it's loaded. Made it myself. It opens up into a medicine bottle. I put a home remedy for upset stomachs in there. So you could even eat spoiled bacon and be just fine. Uh, okay, next. Your turn, Claude. Uh, sorry. This was the best I could do on short notice. It's special stationery the Navy uses in the control room. Wow, it's so pretty. Writing nourishes the brain, so maybe it can help you get your memories back. Hmm. That was actually pretty thoughtful. For Claude. And last but not least, it's my turn. Why did you have to frame it like that? Come on, he's doing his best here. All that build-up for this? It's just a standard-issue army jacket. Well, well, yeah, but it's one of my cute ones. And I altered it to fit Angie. Here, try it on. Mm, so warm. A little big on me, but... Thanks, Riley! And Raz, and Kai, and Claude, and... And everyone else. I'm so happy I met you all. I promise I won't forget you. Never, ever. You gave me so much. These presents, these memories. 
I'll remember them forever. Oh god, I just had a horrible thought. Oh no, oh no, are they actually gonna do that? Oh no. Good work, <laughs> Don't you dare Isara her. Exactly like our usual ones, but I think it went pretty well. I'd say it went fantastic. You got that right. <laughs> I love you, Riley. I love you too, Angie. Oh god, I am so worried. Midnight run. Midnight run? Oh, a resupply mission? Oh, that's gonna go so well. That is gonna go so bloody well. But, I think to wrap up our time for this one, I think what we'll do is we will... ...see to headquarters, because it's been a while. Actually, I'm pretty sure... Eh. Pretty sure I need to build up enough of this in order to actually recruit someone, but you know what, I'm not gonna worry about that. Actually, wait a minute, I need to see to... I need to see to the mess hall first, make sure there's nothing new there. Hey Miles, how are the repairs going on those tank treads? They'll be okay, but I do have to apologize. I should have been able to dodge those blasts. How do you dodge in a tank? Don't beat yourself up over it, Miles. Tanks are big targets, and attractive ones at that. If you weren't such a skilled driver, the Hoffman would have blown up months ago. And everyone here knows it. Thanks. It's just so... humiliating being unable to move. Dan's APC was right there, and he dodged it fine. I have to work on becoming a better driver, and avoiding... Hey, knock it off with that jibber-jabber. Dan! An APC ain't no tank. Of course it's quicker. You're driving second to none. You want to work on something. Work out your legs, not your arms. Ah. So, like, the pedals for the accelerator and the brakes and the clutch... So you see, kids, don't skip leg day. Not your legs, you dingus. The tanks. Oh, I get it. If you fortify the treads, you could take a direct hit and still keep moving. That's what I said. I used to drive a tank myself. I'd be happy to help you out. Alrighty. We'll see what use that can be for us later. Alright, let's see. How much do I want to invest? Well, let's see. I'm going to be doing the next DLC mit. Well, the final DLC mission of the Captainless Squad bit soon, so... Eh. You know what? I'll save upgrading for after that. I probably overleveled a little bit anyway, so I could get through this. Alright. Actually, wait, advanced stops? Oh wait, no, that's the one that introduced 80. So yep, we've got this one to see too next time. Thank you.